Welcome to the video for creating and running automated tests in TestComplete. Now creating tests with TestComplete is very simple. You just use TestComplete to record your actions over the application you want to test and then replay that recorded test as many times as you'd like. Let me show you how to do this. Alright, let's record a test. To do this, we're going to click the Record a New Test button here on the TestComplete Start page. And you can see that brings up the Create New Project dialog. And this allows you to give your test complete project a name and specify where you want to save it to. So I'm just going to call this the Orders Demo Project. And we'll save that in the default location right here. OK, great. And I'll click the Create button. And now Test Complete minimizes down to a very small recording toolbar. And at this point, Everything that I do, every action that I perform, is being recorded by Test Complete. So every application that I launch, every button that I click, every text field that I type into, Test Complete is recording. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch the application we want to test. It's this C Sharp Orders application right here. All right, and now I've got my Orders application loaded. I want to open a file that contains some customer data for my orders application. So I'm just going to go up to File, Open, load up this data file right here. OK, so now I have my orders application loaded and all my customer data loaded. And what I want to do is verify that I can edit one of my users' orders successfully. So I'm going to right click on the Susan McLaren order here and select Edit Order. OK, that brings up Susan McLaren's order details. And we want to change this so that she didn't order the My Money product. She actually ordered the Family Album product. OK, so we make that selection. Click OK. All right. And now we want to verify that that change stuck. So what we're going to do is re-edit re that order. And now I want to verify that this Family Album product is still selected. And the way I'm going to do that is with a feature called a checkpoint. Now it's very easy to create checkpoints. All you have to do is click on this little button right here and that pops up a list of all the checkpoints that Test Complete provides. And these let you do everything from verifying database table contents, verifying that pictures have loaded properly on the screen, and verifying the text of various controls. And we're going to verify the text of that combo box via this property checkpoint right here. So I'm going to select create property checkpoint. And now Test Complete pops up this wizard. And what I'm going to do is use this Finder tool. I'm just going to drag that right onto the item on screen that I want to verify. And you can see that any control that pops up with a red highlight around it is something that Test Complete can perform a checkpoint on. So forms, group boxes, buttons, and combo boxes. So I'm going to select that combo box, release the mouse. And you can see that Test Complete has grabbed a reference to that combo box. We're showing its name right here, product names, and we're also showing a picture of the control so we can verify that we selected the right thing. All right, so now I'm going to click the next button here. And now what you see is a list of the properties that Test Complete can see for that particular combo box. And we can select which one of these properties we want to verify. And in our case here, we want to verify the WText property because that actually contains the value that's currently selected in the combo box. So I'm going to pick WText and click Next. And this last panel is just a summary of the checkpoint. Basically we're saying we're going to look at the product names control. We're going to verify that it's WText property equals family album. All right. And I'm going to click Finish here. I'll click OK here to this dialog. I'm going to close the orders application down, but I'm not going to save any changes because I want to keep my test data clean. All right, now I'm just going to click on the stop button here to stop recording. Okay, test complete takes a moment to process all the recorded commands, and then it shows us the test that we just recorded. And the test shows you a list of every action that was performed during the course of the recording. Uh, for instance, right here, this is where we are selecting file open. Here's where we're changing the product that Susan McLaren ordered. And right here is our checkpoint. 
Now you'll notice that each action that we've performed, there's a corresponding screenshot down here in the visualizer panel. And this allows you to see exactly what happened during the test recording. So we know that when we were recording, we s clicked on this control right here, this combo box, and we selected family album from that combo box. Okay, now that our test has been created, let's go ahead and run it. All we have to do is click this run test button. And now I'm going to take my hands away from the keyboard and the mouse. Test completes going to drive the system and perform that same sequence of actions that we just recorded. So you can see we've invoked the orders application, we've loaded our data file, we selected Susan McLaren's order, we're making the change to her order now, and now we're going to verify that that change stuck uh, afterwards. Then we'll close the app down. And when we finish, test complete will display its results. And the test results contain detailed information about every action that was performed during the course of the run. So for example, right here, we clicked File Open. And you also see images here of what it looked like during the recording process when we performed that action and what it looked like when the test ran. So if you encounter a problem, you can look at the pictures to see exactly what went wrong uh, with a particular action. Now you can follow along and see all the other actions we performed here. This is where we right clicked on Susan McLaren, uh, we selected edit order, and again you can see the pictures down here. I can blow that up, you can see what that looked like. And right here we have a message telling us that the property checkpoint passed, stating that the product name's W text value equals family album. And you can click on this remarks palette right here to get even more detailed information. You can see the exact name of the object, the property you were verifying, and again the expected and actual values. This concludes our video on how to create tests with TestComplete. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the addresses you see on your screen. In the meantime, we wish you luck and hope you enjoy automating your tests with TestComplete.